Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo ang Solving Absolute Value Inequalities. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang Solving Absolute Value Inequalities. So, meron na akong videos about different inequalities kung saan naturo ko na sa inyo yung iba't ibang notation, kung paano isulat ang inequalities involving yung greater than, less than, or greater than or equal, or less than or equal symbol. So, na-discuss ko na yung linear inequalities, quadratic inequalities, rational inequalities. So, ngayon is, i-discuss ko naman yung inequalities na nag involve ng absolute value. So, kung hindi nyo pa is link ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, meron na rin ako na unang video about solving absolute value equalities kung saan na-discuss ko na yung concept about absolute value. So, ngayon ay mag-focus na tayo sa absolute value inequalities. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawang properties dito for the solution ng absolute value inequality. So, yung nag involve nga ng less than or less than or equal symbol, tsaka greater than or greater than or equal symbol. Okay? So, yung una, kung meron tayong absolute value of a variable x less than a, dapat meron tayong solution na if and only if negative a is less than x less than a. So, dapat yung x natin is in between negative a and a. So, same lang din kung yung symbol natin is less than or equal to a. So, absolute value of x is less than or equal to a if and only if negative a is less than or equal x less than or equal to a. Okay, so ito lang yung katandaan natin. So, in number line, ito yung itsura nila for absolute value of x less than a. So, makapansin nyo, yung x is in between negative a and a. Hindi siya inclusive kasi open circle or in interval notation, ito siya. Open parenthesis, negative a, comma, a, close parenthesis. So, naturo ko naman na to sa videos ko about inequalities. Okay? Then, sa absolute value of x less than or equal to a, magiging close circle lang siya sa number line in between dito sa negative a at a, inclusive sila, and then in interval notation, we have open bracket, negative a, comma, a, close bracket. Okay? Then, for the second property, this time kapag meron naman tayong absolute value of a variable x is greater than a, magiging true ito if and only if x is less than negative a or x is greater than a. So, same as kung absolute value of x naman, gumamit naman tayo ng greater than or equal to a, if and only if x is less than or equal to negative a or x is greater than or equal to a. So, dalawa yung solution natin. Ipag-union natin sila. Okay? So, ito yung ating... Number line for the solution, so we have open circle at negative a extending to negative infinity and open circle at a extending to positive infinity. Yung union nila or interval notation, we have open parenthesis negative infinity comma negative a close parenthesis union open parenthesis a comma positive infinity close parenthesis. Okay? So... For the absolute value of x less than or equal to a, gagawin nyo lang, close circle, yung dalawang circle dito sa absolute value of x greater than a, and then, yung magiging interval notation niya is open parenthesis, negative infinity, comma, negative a, this time, close bracket, yun yun, open bracket, a, comma, positive infinity, close parenthesis. Kasi inclusive na nga itong negative a, tsaka a sa solution. Okay? So, para ma-illustrate natin yung formula for the solution of absolute value inequalities, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. For the first one, we have solve absolute value of x less than 2. Okay, so since meron tayong less than symbol, ang solution natin is in between negative 2 at 2. So, negative 2 less than x less than 2. Or, in interval notation, negative 2 comma 2. Okay. So, madali lang, right? Next, we have solve absolute value of x greater than or equal to 5. Okay, so this time, meron na tayong greater than or equal symbol. So, therefore, meron tayong solution dyan, right? So, yung una is x is less than or equal to negative ng 5 or x is greater than or equal to the 5 itself. Okay, or in interval notation, we have 
negative infinity, comma, negative 5, with close bracket, yun yun, open bracket 5, comma, positive infinity. Okay? Next, we have absolute value of x minus 1 is less than or equal to 3. So, since meron tayong less than or equal to symbol, ang solution natin is negative 3 less than. This time, hindi lang x yung nasa inside ng absolute value symbol, but x minus 1. So, kukopyahin natin lahat nung nasa loob ng absolute value symbol. So, x minus 1 less than, this time, positive 3. So, ngayon, isasolve natin ito ngayong uh, inequality na to dapat yung gitna is x lang. So, dahil may negative 1 tayo dito sa gitna, para makancel siya, pwede tayong mag-add ng 1 in both sides nung ating inequalities. So, pag ginawa natin yon negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, less than, sa so, makancel na dito si negative 1, x na lang, less than, so 3 plus 1 then is 4. So, therefore, ito solution natin. Negative 2 less than x less than 4 or in interval notation, negative 2 comma 4. Ah, sorry, dapat meron pala tayo dito ang underline kasi yung symbol natin is less than or equal, right? So, dapat meron tayong underline sa less than symbol natin sa solution. So, dapat negative 2 is less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4 or in interval, negative 2 comma 4 with the negative 2 and 4 inclusive as denoted by the close and open bracket. Okay? Next, we have absolute value of x plus 1 is greater than 2. Okay, so this time greater than naman. So, meron tayong solution na x plus 1, so kukopyahin nyo lahat nung nasa loob ng absolute value symbol, we have less than negative 2, right? Negative nung constant or copy ulit yung x plus 1, this time greater than naman sa 2 itself. So, dalawa yung ating isasolve na inequality. So, dito muna sa una, solve natin for x. So, transpose ko lang tong 1, magiging x is less than negative 2 minus 1 or x is less than negative 3. Right? Or dito naman, transpose ko rin si 1, x is greater than 2, this time minus 1. So, x is greater than 2 minus 1 or 1. So, therefore, ito yung solution natin. x is less than negative 3 or x is greater than 1. Or in interval notation, we have Negative infinity, comma, negative 3, yun yun, 1, comma, positive infinity. Okay? With negative 3 and 1, not inclusive. Okay? Next, we have absolute value of 2 times quantity x plus 2 minus 5, less than or equal to 25. Okay, so since meron tayong less than or equal symbol, meron tayong solution na negative 25, Less than or equal, so copy natin tong lahat ng expression inside the absolute value symbol, 2 times quantity x plus 2 minus 5, then less than or equal to positive 25. Okay, so simplify muna natin tong gitna. Negative 25 less than or equal, so distribute ko si 2, 2x plus 4 minus 5 less than or equal to 25, negative 25 less than or equal 2x, 4 minus 5 is negative 1, less than or equal to 25. Then, transpose natin dito si negative 1, tsaka sa kabila, magiging negative 25 plus 1, less than or equal to 2x, less than or equal to 25 plus 1. So, negative 25 plus 1 is negative 24, less than or equal to 2x, less than or equal to 25 plus 1 is 26. So, dahil meron pa tayong 2 sa x, divide natin both sides by 2. So, cancel na si 2, so, meron tayong solution dito sa negative 24 divided by 2 is negative 12. And dito sa 26 divided by 2, we have positive 13. So, ito yung ating solution. Negative 12 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 13. Or in interval notation, negative 12 comma 13 with open and close bracket. Okay? Next, we have solve the absolute value of 5 times quantity x minus 2 minus 2x plus 5 greater than 52. Okay, so this time, meron tayong greater than symbol, so meron tayong dalawang solution. So, yung lahat ng expression inside the absolute value symbol, so 5 times quantity x minus 2 minus 2x plus 5, this time, less than muna sa negative nitong 52, or, copy ulit, 5 times quantity x minus 2 minus 2x plus 5, greater than naman sa 52 itself. So, solve natin itong dalawang inequalities. So, dito muna sa una. So, distribute ko muna si 5. 5x minus 
10 minus 2x plus 5 less than negative 52. So, combine similar terms, 5x minus uh, 2x, sorry, 2x to, is 3x, the negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5 less than negative 52. Transpose in negative 5, 3x is less than negative 52 plus 5, 3x is less than negative 52 plus 5 is negative 47, right? And then divide both sides by 3, we have x is less than negative 47 over 3. One solution. Or, ito pang isa. So, same, distribute muna natin si 5. 5x minus 10 minus 2x plus 5 greater than 52. So, 5x minus 2x is 3x. Negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5 greater than 52. Transpose natin dito si 52. We have 3x is greater than 52 plus 5. So, ano yung 52 plus 5? 57. Divide both sides by 3. We have With negative 47 over 3 and 19 not inclusive. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, solving absolute value inequalities. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.